I'm gonna make this video short and sweet and tell you guys the number one mistake that women make during sex. And not just sex, like penis, penis, in vagina sex. I mean just sexuality, period. And this video, just so you guys know, is not just for you. It's a helpful reminder for me as well, because yes, even I make this mistake. That is how common this shit is, because as you can tell, I don't make a lot of mistakes. Take a little walk with me for a second. You and your boo have the night to yourselves. You call them over, you have everything prepped. They come over and you are already excited. So excited the neighbors could come over for a swim if they wanted to. But no, tonight is just between you and them. You get to make it out. Everything is great and it's groovy. They strip your clothes off, you strip their clothes off. Then they have that moment where they stare at you and they look at you and they really, really look at you. Their eyes on your body and you find yourself verbally vomiting out. I know, I haven't been to the gym in a long time. Don't try and stare at my rolls too hard. What? And like I said, this is my issue as well too. For me, I'm not very abundant in the assets department and what I think I lack in fun bags, I make up for with a hell of a good time and my fun personality, um, but still nonetheless, when I am intimate with somebody or when someone's complimenting my body, period, I feel the need to bring up the fact that I get it, I don't have an ass and I have an A cup chest. I fucking get it. Because in our minds, the only thing worse than an imperfect woman is a perfectly delusional ass woman. Don't get me wrong, I a thousand percent get why women do this. We've been doing this for ourselves as a coping mechanism ever since we bought our very first magazine. Comparing our bodies to the bodies that are put on display in a pedestal by media and society, and very few of us, if not really any of us, measure up to what that is. So we think that making jokes passive aggressive comments and unnecessary disclaimers about the fact that we don't compare to the Kardashians is a way of making everybody feel more comfortable because they must be thinking it so if you say it first then everyone's gonna have a better time at least we got that out of the way right but I want to let you know today that you are wrong and you were ruining your sex life because of it bringing your insecurities into the bedroom or into any kind of intimate setting not only makes it awkward for the other person but also it reminds you in a time when you're supposed to feel celebrated, liberated, sexy, and beautiful, that once again, here's one more thing that you probably can't be as good at as you want to be. And as women know, women who are sexual, the surest way to getting yourself that big release and that big O is to get out of your head, to be in the moment. And how can you be in the moment if you were trying to figure out what positions you can be in that hide the roles? Lastly, a tip for everybody. If you want your partner to be free, sexy, fun, and spontaneous in the bedroom, you cannot under any circumstances criticize them for what they do or how they look during sex, period, ever, point blank, wrap that shit up, FedEx it overnight, I don't wanna talk about it ever again. You can give pointers, you can give guides, you can tell them what you like, but don't ever make fun of them for something that they did, wore, said, or looked like during sex. It already is hard enough as it is to free up in that space. When you start creating that little demon in their head and feeding that shit some food, it gets even bigger and there is no space in their cranium for anything else other than self-doubt. Point blank period, if you're having sex with somebody who has broken any of these rules, you better stop that shit right now because they don't deserve you and all of your great infinite power and beauty. So do yourself a favor, have better sex by feeling better about yourself and giving that energy to the person that you're sharing your fucking awesome ass body with. Pa pa. Hey everyone, I'm Joe. I'm Shannon. I'm Bart. I'm Gio, and you're watching Ask the Feels. And today we have a question from Free Tibet. Yeah, that's the whole base of like Freud anyway. He was just saying that we all want to fuck our parents. It's not true. <laughs> I mean, I get that. And this is less creepy than that. Yeah, because it's you your win. sibling. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Uh, thank you for tuning in to the first edition of. Shit, we don't have a name for this. She be saying, he said that one time, you know what I'm saying, oh my God. That's what we gonna oh call it? Oh my God. I don't think that'll fit. Oh, this is gonna be known as the poon. And the peen. That we out. We out. Peace.